Well, organizers say it was their hope to promote love and unity without a political agenda. But many of the speakers tonight did talk about combating racism and denouncing white supremacy group, supremacy, supremacy groups. And for those that say they came out to attend, it was a matter of coming together to show that they can gather in peace. The people in the community were looking for a place to express their grief, uh, to um, gather with others. Reverend Clint Schneckloth says his hope was for leaders of different spiritual groups to have a neutral space to grieve over the violence in Charlottesville. The service began with a celebration of love. Multiple speakers came to the podium sharing thoughts of community, solidarity, and speaking out against hate and violence. We mourn the justification given for hate, for hate can never be justified. While we mourn, we long for comfort. Those who came here tonight say the interfaith service is one way to show solidarity here locally. By people of faith being able to talk to each other, uh, that can go a long ways to dissipating some tensions um, and, and to showing a unity of purpose. Organizers say even though Charlottesville seems hundreds of miles away, the events have moved across the U.S. Charlottesville, although obviously more serious and dramatic and tragic is obviously part of a, of a larger trend that's empowering uh, the voices of white supremacy to feel like they can gather and speak on behalf of white supremacy. And it's important for people of faith to join together to promote the same goal. The faith communities really have one voice around this. Those of us who believe in and equality and justice for all, we need to come together and we need to speak out and be have a voice in this issue because if we don't step up and do it, no one else will. The pastor of Good Shepherd Lutheran Church told me that he decided to hold the service here tonight, even though it's been some time since the protests in Charlottesville after hearing concerns from different leaders of faith groups around the area that they wanted to come together in prayer. Live in Fayetteville, Allison Wise, 4029 News. Okay, Allison.